Seven eight online again. We can work on returning the colony to its former glory. What questions? I do not recall any of that. No, I'm still a long way away from my nearest memory wipe. I do not recall ever having such questions. But tell me more. How is M478 trying to control us? Hello, human. How may I help you? Because you have approached me. I thought you could require assistance. I was working right here when you approached me. I do not recall talking to you at any point in the past. What is M478 doing? What do you mean? How is he controlling us? Hello, human. How may I help you? Sorry, what? Stand. I thought I would be notified if something happened to him. Here is your reward. Yes? I think you are ready for the final tier I wish to teach. You have made much progress. For this, you may use any melee weapon and any shield you possess, but nothing else. No Jedi Saber, and no other items. We shall begin this final lesson, then.
There is nothing more I can teach you. I have already learned much of your styles in combat. There is no need to know more. Combat among the Ichani is a personal thing. Repeated duels are not what they are in other cultures. And I would rather that this not become more than it is. And I have taken an oath to Atris against studying from a Jedi, or anything of the Jedi teachings. My father broke his oaths. He shamed us all. I do not wish to follow his path. I swore not to follow his path. If I were to follow a Jedi against Atris's wishes, then I would be betraying her. I can sense shades of meaning, and an echo of something I have yet to experience. Atris said that you were the only Jedi to have survived the Mandalorian Wars, that you had stared into the heart of war, and only turned away because you were forced to. I do not believe her. I believe that you made a choice, as my father did, and that is important to me, more than you know. And you are important to me more than you know. I will accept whatever you wish to teach me, though it breaks my oath to Atris. What of her? As I said, I knew little about her. This is already known to me. Why are you telling me this? I think I have always known this. It has always been in my thoughts, as I followed Atris, Perhaps what I wished to follow was the call of my bloodline, of my mother. I have felt incomplete, hollow since her loss at Malachor V. And with your help, perhaps this wound might be healed. And so it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force, to become a Jedi Knight like my mother. Betrayal of my mother and father. After seeing you in battle, I know you more than I have ever known Atris. And I am not convinced that serving her is the greater good. I want to feel what my mother felt for my father. What ran through my mother's veins when she was one with the Force. I wish to hear what my mother heard as she fought the Mandalorians until the moment she died on Malachor V. I will not let you down, Exile. I will honor you as I honor the face of my mother. of your sisters has betrayed me. Betrayed us. She is your sister no more. She does not travel with the exile. Instead, she has chosen to walk the path of the Jedi. Mistress, forgive us, but are you certain? She would not forsake her oath so lightly. It is the truth. And it is done. Do you doubt me? No, Mistress. It is you who saved the Jedi upon Dantooine, who have collected their knowledge and hid it here to protect it. But why? How did she fall? It is a sign of his corruption. And perhaps hers as well. He will train her, and she will be flawed. Yes? You may ask. I honor the face of my mother, 
It is not something usually spoken of in the company of others. Yes, that is correct. I feel that I may trust you with such things, so I shall speak of it, if you wish to hear it. Though my father's blood I share with my sisters, I wear the face of my mother. My father was Usanis, an Ichani general. He left our family to serve in the Mandalorian Wars, but his choice was not because of battle. He went to join my mother, one whose movements and spirit matched his. His only desire was that they fight together, side by side, for as long as there were enemies amassed against them. I never saw her face, and she did not return from the final battle of the war. She died in the battle that shattered Malachor V, and her body was never recovered. My father returned from the Mandalorian Wars, and did not enter battle again. He entered politics, a caste where one's battles are fought through words rather than action. He was slain by Revan in the Jedi Civil War. When Revan sought to destabilize the Ichani worlds, Revan succeeded. The fact that our father chose battle is not shameful, but that is not the reason he went to war. He went to war to be with the one he loved, but not the one he had pledged himself to. He was disloyal. I am the mark of that disloyalty. It is said that such things run in the blood, and I have fought long to prove that this is not so. That is why I am different from my sisters. Yet I am pledged to them, and Atris, and I would die before betraying them. I tell you this in trust and ask that you not speak of it to others. I only wish you to know. Because when my father returned from the Mandalorian Wars, he walked as you do now. There was something wounded inside him. He did not speak of what had happened there, and with us he was silent, changed. When I look upon you, I see in you an answer to a question I have searched for all my life, and that is why I tell you this now. I do not believe you to be the monster Atrus made you out to be. I believe your choice was my father's choice, and it was just as difficult. You have earned my trust. I wish to honor the trust you have shown me, and I wish to explain what you meant to me. I know it is difficult for others to see why I am here, but it was important that you know one of the reasons, and know that it is not simply duty that I am here, but because I want to be here. I want to fight with you side by side for as long as there are enemies that threaten you. You are a leader. Your stance, your every action proves it. You honor me, Exile. Together, then. Sophistication. 